new boots here at Toledo 2015 is Stepcraft. I'm with Eric Royer. Eric, how you doing, Jeff? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Um, Stepcraft, kind of walk us through what is it? How does it work? Okay. Stepcraft is a German manufacturer of a machine. They started in 2013. They're a universal desktop CNC machine. What I mean by that is that you, there's three different machines here that we're selling, and basically, you, you, the decision you have to make is you pick which size machine is gonna be best for the application you have. Okay. The, the three machines are identical as far as functionality, speed, and options. The only difference between them is the physical size. The, the base size. Exactly. Okay. So the, the universal aspect is you could take a machine and you could add a Dremel tool and mm. use that as a cutter to cut balsa wood and plywood. Okay. We have a high speed uh, spindle, which we're running right now over here, and it's carving the Urcha logo. Okay. Uh, that is one option if you're going to do aluminum, if you're going to do a lot of high volume carving and milling, mm -hmm. that, that's the option that's made for that. Uh, you could also take, we have a 3D print head that you can attach, so you could take the mill head off and put the 3D print head on. Okay, and the, each of these parts is, is interchangeable, interchangeable with any one of the bases. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So, like I said, you pick you pick the size machine you want, and you can then take whatever option that we have and add it to that machine. Mm -hmm. So we we even have a, we have a drag knife option, which is really cool because you can you you could go from cutting wood to 3D printing parts, and then you could switch over to the drag knife, and now you can make the machine into a vinyl cutter. Okay. Um, we have a hot wire foam cutter attachment. So you could cut foam cores, you cut wing ribs out of foam. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a graving attachment, and later on this year we'll have a, a three and a half watt laser available. That okay. You'll be able to add to do laser engraving and cutting as well. Okay. And one of the cool uh, things that we're coming out with, um, and I can get you a photo of it, is we have an automatic tool changer that's coming out. We'll be the first and only machine in this classification to have a, a full ATF um, automatic tool changer. Okay. So what it'll do is it'll, it'll sit on the back of the machine mm -hmm. and the G code will tell it which tool it needs to go and grab for okay. what particular uh, uh, application you're running and you don't have to do anything manually. Really? Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm assuming that the three sizes are going to be different prices. For, let's say, all right, so for uh, the RCU crowd community, mm -hmm. Uh, we'll put a coupon code on the website, so we'll honor the show prices okay. for the RCU members. So when you go in to check out, just put RCU into the coupon code box. Okay. And so the show prices are, uh, it's $7.99 for the little three, the little 300. Mm -hmm. The 420 is $9.99, and then the 600, it's back here, is the largest one of the of the group, and this is $12.49. Okay. All right. Um, are they all available now? Yeah, these machines are available now and selling. Okay. We also have, uh, this is our, our kind of our flagship machine. I apologize, there's stuff all over it, but this is the new 840. This is a Stepcraft 2 840. Okay. We're running a Kickstarter on this right now, so if you go to Stepcraft and the number 2.com, mm -hmm. it'll take you right to our Kickstarter page. Okay. Uh, this machine is the largest machine that, that Stepcraft has built to date. It has a higher Z volume, where the other three are 3.1 inches. Mm -hmm. Stepcraft 2 is 6.5. Okay. Everything on this machine has been beefed up. So it's it's made for high production. More um, of a commercial type use. Exactly, but still priced in the same range uh, for the uh, for the hobbyist. Okay, so what are you expecting the price to be on this one? Well, on Kickstarter, this particular, the Stepcraft 2 840 on Kickstarter starts at $19.99, and it comes with software and some other stuff, and we have packages that go up from there. Okay. But we have the Stepcraft 2 300, which will be out later this year, mm -hmm. that's going to start at $9.99 on okay. Kickstarter. So, so it's around the same price range. That'll be the same size as this 300, exactly but it'll the have size. the higher... It'll have a higher Z height, and okay. it'll be about 30-40% faster. Okay. All right. So we talked about the Dremel option. We yep. talked about the high-speed router. Um, we've got the printer. We've got the vinyl cutter or drag knife. 
what other kind of accessories do you see coming out? Well, like I said, the laser is, is, is something that mm -hmm. we're excited about for later on this year. All right. uh, we do have an etch engraver, so if you were to put like a, a plate of uh, brass on the ground, it, you can scratch engrave, it has a diamond tip, and you can okay. use it for uh, engraving plaques and things like that. Right. Um, there's a wide, there's such a wide variety of bits that you could put on the spindles, mm -hmm. you know, from V-carve bits. So you can do uh, raised letter panels, raised letter uh, signs, things, uh, things of that nature. Look like embossing. Exactly. Perfect. So with any CNC routing machine or printer, you need software to run it. Correct. What kind of software is it and what kind of requirements do we have for computer systems? Okay, one of the nice things with the Stepcraft machines is they're not uh, proprietary for software. Okay. So there's right now we're running Mach 3 on one machine and UC CNC on the other. Mm -hmm. uh, we also uh, sell Win PCNC, which those are machine control software. So okay. they take the G code and actually make the machine run. Okay. The, the process of doing CNC really is a three-step process. Mm -hmm. You need to have a drawing program or CAM program, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then you need to have a machine control program. Okay. So the drawing's up to you. You can use right. any CAD program, AutoCAD, uh, drawing program like CorelDRAW. Mm -hmm. uh, we can basically take any drawing program, and you would take that file and bring it into a CAM program. And okay. what that does is that assigns the tool path so it analyzes the drawing, it, it, you tell it what tool you're using, and then it creates the G-code that lets the machine run. Excellent. And then we take that file, and, and you know, we have a lot of people that are, prefer Mach 3, some people like UC, CNC, so the machine will work with any of those. Awesome. And I notice you're running them here at the show on a laptop, so... Doesn't maybe, require any horsepower not, for a computer. Okay. Yeah, we can run them on a five-year-old laptop. It's a Windows-based, no problem at all. Okay, excellent. All right? All right. Well, Eric, thanks so much thanks, for your Jeff. time today. Thanks for I appreciate your time. it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing these coming out and, awesome. and uh, on the market. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank thanks you. for the support.